Jimmy Dame Sofa, I'm back on track. Uh, the weather is amazing, and uh, today we're gonna talk about Tito Ortiz. To be or not to be in the UFC. Uh, I want you to log on to UFC event.net and vote yes or no, and leave a comment down down here. Because uh, I, I want to know, all you Tito fans, all you Tito haters, what's up? To be or not to be? Come on, right. All right. Tito or Tiz. Um The thing is, you can say a lot of things about Tito, but he actually has been the most dominant light heavyweight fighter in UFC history. Uh, and uh, he... he, he had a unanimous decision against Van der Silva back in the days was when Van der Silva was smashing people. You know, when Van der was Van der Silva. And, you know, all when you say, you know, highlight, cli highlight clips with, with Van der Le, it was back in the day when Van der was, he was, like, taking care of business. But, uh, you know, he, he beat Van der Silva. He beat Evan Tanner, Elvis Sinisek, Vladimir Matuchenko, Randy no, not not Randy Couture. Ken Shamrock. Uh, then, you know, he he had that dispute with Chuck. He didn't want want to fight Chuck. Then he fought Randy. Randy spanked him. Then he fought Chuck. Lost. But then you know, th then you know, he put together some wins. One, two, three, four, five wins. Patty Gute. Do you know who v Do you know who Vito Belfort is? Forrest Griffin. And then Ken Shamrock, and then Ken Shamrock again, and that was like two t two times too many, but whatever. Uh, then he fought Chuck again, and he lost again. Uh, then he fought Rashad Evans, and he actually he actually won that fight, but uh, you know Tito Ortiz got a point abducted because he grabbed the fence. Uh, then he fought Leo Tomashira. And you know, everybody now you know how good Leo Tomashira is. But he actually looked pretty good and he was close to submitting Leo, Leo Tomashira. Uh, then he fought first Griffin again, lost to a split decision. And uh, you know, you know, he was injured. And now he fought Matt Hamill, injured. The thing is, um Tirotis looks so you know, Tito Tis have never been a good striker. He's a wrestler who takes you down. Now, 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 now he's facing a better wrestler. So, uh, all right. His latest good fight was to uh, Forrest Griffin when he beat Forrest Griffin, and that was 2006. You know, because Forrest Griffin he's a he's a game game opponent. Uh, after that, uh, he, he got that. Got that draw against Rashad Evans. That was July 2007. But after that, he haven't had a win. Okay, he lost to Leoto Mishida, but he looked pretty good. But then after that, he haven't looked good at all. But how long can you like uh, live live on on your record? Because like you, you have to be active, you have to develop. And the thing is. Um, Tito, Tito style is, is getting old. I don't want to admit it, but you know, Tito's stand up. He's no power puncher, and he's he's not a technical striker. He doesn't set up his striking well, uh, and you know, he, he don't get got that wrestling shot anymore. You know, and um, no ground and pound action. So. If the Tiro Tis is gone, what what else can he bring to the table? You know, smack talking. But I actually hope that they won't cut Tiro Tis because I want to see him one more time, but against a game opponent. 
and against a striker, a good striker. Who? Little Nog. And, and if he loses, cut him. But you know, he has to fight a good guy. And if he wins, he's in the mix again. Not like Matt Hamill, because you know, Matt Hamill is a better wrestler than him, but you know, if he wins over, over, over Matt Hamill, what can he say? So, uh, yeah, that's the video for today. Vote. Subscribe. See you soon.